Hi everyone, this is part two of uh, DI uh, questions from PYQs of CMAT papers and in this video we are going to look at some tricky questions of data interpretation which have appeared in previous year CMAT exam. I will also show you how to quickly figure around uh, how to quickly tackle such questions. So I will show you some shortcuts and all. So yeah, watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button and do share it with all your friends. Yeah, this is a bit about myself and make sure that all of you have joined this telegram group. So let's straight away go ahead with the first question. And this question looks very lengthy actually, but when you come across such question, there are smart ways to, uh, you know, tackle this such scenario. So what they are, uh, what they have given is uh, match list one with list list two. That is what you need to do. And you are also given some data. The following table embody embodies, uh, sorry, embodies. Now this is the word that CMAT exam uses pretty frequently. So it uh, consists of, okay. The details about the enrollment of students in five different activities that is swimming, singing, drawing, dancing and handicraft in a school during 2020-21. A total of 3000 students including 750 girls have been enrolled over here, right? So we know total 3000 students, it's mentioned over here and there are 1750 girls. Okay, and we are given percentage breakup. So in swimming, uh, you know, out of this 3000, 480 students have enrolled in swimming 16 percent of 3000 is 480 and uh, yeah further uh, you know out of this 480 how many were girls and how many were boys so guys 14 percent of 1750 were girls now what is 14 percent of 1750 i'm just showing some calculation then we'll come to the question because for question probably will not require but if in case if you want to make such calculation 14% of 1750. So what you can do is you can find out 10% which is 175 and now you can find out 4%. So what is 1%? It's 117.5. So 4 times of 17.5, it's going to be 70. Isn't that? So this will come out to be 245. So this is how you can so do quick calculation. But instead of solving complete thing, let's look at what is there in list A. So boys enrolled in singing and handicraft together. Okay, singing total students were 21% of 3000 that is 630 and handicraft total students was 750 because 25% of 3000. Now we need to find out boys in that. Okay, so 28% of 1750 over boys. Now if you remember we just calculated 14% as 245. So can I say 28% should be 290? Yeah, okay, so this should be 290. So what should be this value? <clears throat> Oh, sorry, this will be 490, 490. So can we say this boys has to be 140 because this girls are 490. So boys will be 140. Out of the 630, there are 490 girls and 140 boys. I really hope you have understood. Similarly, out of 750, how many girls and boys are there? So 22% of 1750 are girls. Now what is 20% of 1750? So it's very easy. 175 ka double kar do, 350 aayega. So, ye 20 percent hai, usme 2 percent add karna hai, to 35 add kar do, 385 aa jayega. So, we know 385 are girls. So, what will be the number of boys? So, 750 minus 385. So, it is going to be 365. Isn't that? So, now we are asked to find out total of this two. So, what will be this total? Can I say it's 505? So, yes, 505 is 3. So, we know uh, 3 will go with A. And there is only one option where there is A3. Now, in case if you had to calculate all this, see there had been say three options where, uh, you know, one of the pair is A3, then definitely this question would consume lots of time. It's like solving two, three DI questions together, right? But luckily we will get in CMAT exam, you'll mostly get this kind of option. So you can just by one calculation, you can eliminate the other option and answer has to be option D. I really hope you have understood this. Do let me know in the comment section. Now, another tricky question was this one. Consider the following table show, which shows the percentage distribution of workforce of India and ratio of male to female workforce of India in different employment sectors, that is service sector, sales, construction, and so on and so forth. And total workforce in all sector put together is 60 lakhs. Based on the data, answer the following question. The number of male workforce in SA and MA sector put together is approximately what percent of the total number of workforce in PT sector. Now when you are solving such question, you need to ask yourself one question that do you really need to consider this 60 lakhs? No, because we just need to find out one part as a percentage of another part. Okay, so we can assume the total workforce as 100 and uh, in SA sector, uh, 
uh, in SA sector, the workforce is 12%. Okay, let me use some other color. Yeah, this is okay. So 12% of 100 is 12. And uh, in that we need to find out male workforce. So can I say male is 5 by 8 of this number? So what is going to be 5 by 8 of this? It's 7.5. Uh, you know, 5 by 8 of 12 is 7.5. So this is the male workforce in SA. Similarly, in MA, what is the male workforce? Let me just write down, write down male over here. 7.5 will be male. So definitely 4.5 will be female. This is male, this is female. And uh, in MA sector, 21% of 100, that is 21 and male is 3 7th. So what is 3 7th of 21? It's going to be 9. So total is what? 7.5 plus 9. Right. So it's going to be 16.5. Now, this is what percent of total number of workforce in PT sector. So, can I say PT sector is 19%. So, that is 19. So, 16.5 is what percent of 19. So, multiply it by 100. Now, if you look at options are very close, 87, 89% and all. So, it's better to do straight calculation. 1650 divided by 19. 19 eights are 152. Remainder is 13. So, piche 0 laga do. 19 uh, sevens are 133 so this is going to be close to 87 percent and this is how you can tick mark the answer right let's look at one more question from the side there were three questions in this side that's a good thing but the, the question becomes simple if you don't consider the 60 lakh similarly the number of female workforce in SC and PR sector put together is what percent of the number of male workforce in CM so once again you will assume this value as 100 yeah so let's consider total workforce as 100 and we are talking about SE, female workforce in a SE. So where is SE? It's 15 and female is 2 fifth of 15. So definitely you can make out it's going to be 6, right? And PR, so where is PR? <coughs> PR is over here. It's 18% of 100 and female are 7 by 12. So what is 7 by 12 of 18%? So yeah, 1.5 into 7, that is 10.5. So this will come out to be 10.5. So what is this total? It's 16.5, right? Now this is what percent of the number of male workforce in CM sector. So CM means construction. There are 9% and male is 5 by 9. So 5 by 9 of 9 will come out to be only 5. So here we'll put 5 and we are asked to find out this percentage. So yeah, we need to find out this percent. Now you know 15 is uh, actually 300% of 5 you know, plus 1.5. So 1.5 is 30% of 5. So my answer should be 330%. Now this is how you should have solved this question, right? Let's take one more question from the side. And uh, now in this question, you are asked to find out difference in number of female workforce in SA and MA sector put together and number of female workforce in PT. Now we have already calculated SA and MA male workforce, isn't that? So male workforce was 7.5. So female is 4.5. MA male is 9, so female will be 12. So what will be this total female? When we consider workforce, total workforce as 100, you can say 100 lakhs. So this is 4.5 plus 12. It's going to be 16.5. So let me just write down over here. If I consider total workforce as 100 lakh instead of 60 lakh, then this comes out to be 4.5 lakh and this comes out to be 12 lakh. You know, the values might be going behind me. So total of this two, uh, the female workforce is coming out to be 16.5 lakhs. Okay. And we are asked to find out difference. So this minus um, the female in PT sector. So PT, uh, the, it's 19 out of 100. So 19 and female are 3 by 8. You know, this is 5 to 3. So what is 3 by 8 of 19? So can I say it's 19 threes are 57 by 8. So it is around 7.1 approximately you can say it's 7.1 so this value if you solve it will come out to be 9.4 but when we have taken total as 100 lakhs this is coming out to be 9.4 so if total is 60 lakhs so what should be this value so multiply this one by 0. 0.6 because 100 into 0. 0.6 is 60 isn't that we have assumed 100 lakhs but while actual value is 60 so we are multiplying by 0. 0.6 over there so multiply by 0. 0.6 over here uh, i have been using red color so 9, 6 are 54. So this should be something like 5.4, a little more than 5.4 lakhs. So I can say it should be 5.6 lakhs. In fact, uh, you know, I had released a detailed video on percentage profit loss SICI. In that also I had covered this question and the same technique was discussed. So please check the description and make sure to watch uh, the detailed videos of my quantitative aptitude. 
right now let's take one more question and this is not that difficult this is slightly easy question in fact guys i'll also release one more video on di uh, after this it's a third part of di and in that we'll look at some error uh, full questions of erroneous question of uh, di and how to tackle them there were four or five questions of di in which there were errors for example there was a pie chart question where the uh, the values were given in degree but that was not adding up to 360 degrees so how to tackle that so i'll show you that okay but before that let's quickly take up this easy question expenditure of a company in rupees lakhs per annum over given years was uh, given as under and what is the average salary expenditure per annum during the given period so basically we need to find out the average of the salary value now guys here we can use something called assumed average method assumed average method okay now what is assumed average method so guys just write down the values in ascending order you don't need to do it you can directly do it but i'm just explaining this method first so first we'll write down smallest value 576 then the next value which is 648 then the next value which is 682 or 672 then 682 and then the last one is 740 okay now what i can do is i can assume one value as average in between so let me assume my average as 650 okay now compare each of this value with the average so this is minus 2 and this is what minus 74 while this part if you look at let me use different color so uh, 672 is plus 22 this is plus 32 and this is plus 90 right so what is your negative part it is minus 76 what is your positive part so it's 90 plus 54 that is plus 144 now what is this value so can i say this is going to be what 68 and how many total value years are there five years so divide the 68 by 5 you will get 13.6 positive okay so your actual average is 13.6 more than what we assume so we assume 650 plus 13.6 so this is 663.5 six so that's your answer so i really hope you have uh, understood this method and uh, yeah there is one more question and this is also a simple question number of different categories of goods sold in city over the years is given in which of the following years was the number of refrigerators sold approximately 25 percent of the number of cell phones sold so refrigerator should be 25 percent of cell phone so in which year does it happen in 2010 if you observe let me use different color in 2010 if you observe uh, this is 64 and this is 340 so it is almost one fifth so no it's not one fourth 25 percent means we want one fourth so similarly if you observe for other years so you will realize this is 442 and this is 112 which is approximately one by four so it has to be year 2014 right so this is how you can tackle the questions okay guys before we wind up just want to tell you i mean uh, this uh, offer is going on offer is ending very soon so go for plus or iconic subscription whenever you go for that don't forget to apply code chart and the offer will keep coming guys and these are the benefits so communicate to your friends also keep learning guys and i'll come up with one more video very soon so watch that as well where i'll tell you how to tackle the errors in di questions that's it guys